EV destination charging. So what's that? Don't get that confused with home charging. Let's delve into it. So in this video, I try to demystify one of the other options around charging an EV, destination charging. So what does it actually mean, destination charging? Or the clues in the name? It's being able to charge your EV at your destination. However, this isn't the same as rapid charging and it's not the same as home charging. So what's the real difference between a, a destination charger and a home charger and how do you use one? So let me show you. So most EVs are supplied with a Type 2 cable, which is this one here, which is in the front in this Tesla. That's what it looks like. You may find it in the, the boot of some other EVs, but and you can obviously put this in the boot in the Tesla as well, but I'd prefer to keep mine in the front so it's easy access uh, anytime I need to use it. So I'm just going to get my Type 2 cable out. And I'm going to use these Scottish Power um, destination chargers. On the screen here, you can see you've got uh, contactless payment and RFID. Uh, yeah, quite expensive, 65 pence per kilowatt hour. But there you go. Um, so yeah, very simple. Just take the one end, which is normally the fatter end, plug it in, and then the other end obviously into the charger, normally on the side of these. And then like I said, you can use contactless or uh, RFID. As usual, I normally advocate using uh, Electroverse. So straight away that's authorised. Now you've got to select the charger because you've got one this side and one this side. You could have another car parked in this bay here. So it's obviously this side that I need. Start to charge. And there we go. And yeah, you can see the uh, car is charging. Got the green flashing light. Nice and simple, what could be easier? And then to stop charging, as it says there, show your identification to stop. Just use your card that you used before, so this, in this case, the Electroverse card, up to this RFID reader, hit the stop, and you hear it click. You can take your cable out now, and you can take this one out, and then you can put it all away. The other thing to think about uh, predominantly with destination chargers, not always the case, but predominantly they're actually cheaper than the rapid chargers in terms of kilowatt hours, you know, what you're paying price per kilowatt hour. Um, so if your car is going to be sat in a car park for six to eight hours because you're working or you're, you're you know, visiting something, then yeah, it makes sense to be charging up and it's cheaper than uh, having to stop on the way back uh, a rapid charger. I don't think there's enough uh, focus on destination charging. You hear in the news a lot about either being able to charge at home or not being able to charge at home. Um, and also these big, uh, rapid, fast superchargers or super EV hubs. Uh, and the focus there is on is, is getting as much charge in your car as possible, as quick as possible. But I, I do think there's a, a place for destination chargers. I mean, I've certainly used them quite a bit over the last 18 months of owning this car. Um, yeah, I found them really convenient. Um, probably the most recent trip was uh, we went to the Haynes uh, Motor Museum and they've got a bank of uh, destination chargers there. And we were there for oh, a good three, nearly four hours at the museum, which was surprising to be fair, because I, I wasn't sure how big it was. But yeah, I certainly recommend that place. Um, yeah, and we came out and the car was fully charged when we came out. I think if, if destination chargers were more abundant in public car parks and visitors attractions and workplaces then i think the uptake of evs would, would increase well i hope you found that video useful if you did please feel free to give it a like also i'd be really interested to hear your thoughts in the comments below until the next video bye bye